let me show you how to set up and use auto refill on your Bamboo Labs printer so that when one spool of filament runs out, it automatically switches over to another one. This is really flexible, so you can even hack it to go from one type of filament to another when it finishes. And you can even tell it which spool to use first so that you finish the one that's almost finished before moving on to the brand new spool. We're gonna be using the desktop Bamboo Studio on a Windows machine. Open up Bamboo Studio on your computer and go to devices. You should see a list of spools on the right. And if you don't have two identical spools set up, when you click the auto refill button, you'll just see this bit of text. But when it detects that there are two spools that are identical, meaning same brand, same material, same color, then you'll see this when you click auto refill. So you can confirm that it has detected them. Now here is where you have to get creative. If you wanna go from one spool to another of a different type, you can override the RFID information and tell it that two spools are the exact same type, even if they're not. Future Moby here. So now I've tried to do this myself and there's a little bit of a nuance. So the only issue is that you can't change the filament type after the AMS has read the RFID information, but it's really easy to work around this. You just have to tell it what filament is in there before it has a chance to read the RFID. If it's read it already, you can just take out the spool, put it back in, and then tell it what the filament is before it reads the RFID. So I tested this, I was able to tell it that orange is now black, and there's a Netflix joke in there. I've also told it that gray is black, and then it recognized that it was gonna auto refill between orange and gray, even though neither of them were black, because I told it both of them are black PLA basic. Hope that makes sense. But I'm gonna proceed with two spools that actually are the exact same. They're both translucent, paired to G in clear, which is almost transparent. It's very good if you wanna get transparent looking stuff. But you can see when they're both in the AMS and I click auto refill, it detects them. You see that they're both there. It knows they're the same. It knows it's gonna switch from one to the other. And that's almost everything you have to do. The only other thing to mention is that when you go ahead to slice and then to print, you'll be able to choose either one to start printing. That's the important thing. This is what it's gonna to use to start with. So I will always set this to the one that's almost run out. It will finish it before moving on to the brand new one. And the really nice thing about this feature is that it even notifies you in the app and in Bamboo Studio. Hope you've enjoyed this quick tip I am having a lot of fun with this A1 printer and I'm planning lots of content around it. So let me know what questions you have or what you'd like to know about it. If you like this video, I think you'll like this tutorial on how to swap the spool inside the Ultimate AMS Lite enclosure.